Hey Stampers, Gina again and I have been, oh well, I decided to have a little play with my, um, what, Arteza Mar um, Everblends. You've seen me do a little review on them, but now I'm going to make a card with them. I think, I've still got lots and lots of products that I bought in June and uh, y'all know where from. <laughs> so I thought I'd have a little play. So I thought I would add the two ladies. This Yay Eat Cake and Enjoy Your Day is from... Uh, it's Blow Out Your Candle. And let me just sh show you. It's this one. <laughs> and then I've used the Young at Heart one as well. See how I strategically covered that up and, and the happy birthday is inside and so it's, I did the balloon in the ink with the filler because I didn't want it showing through the card on the other side so I just think it because I've used that paper as well which is oh what's it called it starts with art I just wanted to see a little bit of that so I've cut my card stock down even more so the pieces you'll need I'm gonna grab this um, and then the variations for these are down there. That's thick white cardstock, DSP is designer series paper, and WW is whisper white. That's what I've used. They're the sizes, and that's the DSP. It starts with art is there, and I'm using the Everblends. I did put ribbon, but I haven't decided to put any on yet, or or not. Gems, inks, and blocks. So that's what you're going to need if you want to make this card with me. There we go. Pop that back in the drawer. Fingers crossed Mr. B, always, Mr. B will be up with a, a nice cup of coffee shortly because I'm getting thirsty. So, these are the pieces you're going to need. There's that. Whoops. <laughs> this is the stuff I get from the range. It's 300 GSM and it is absolutely amazing cardstock. It's very thick, very substantial stands up well and posts really nicely as well but just adds a bit more weight you know I don't like a little flimsy card I like it to be able to stand up properly so I'm going to use the same colours maybe I might switch them up you never know so I'm going to attach the piece of DSP now we'll colour and then I'll attach the other piece later and I made sure I cut my paper the right way so the love hearts weren't on the side. Just adding plenty of glue, make sure it gets stuck down. And you only need a small border on this one. But I wanted a slightly bigger border on the other one. Perfect. that all glued down make sure there's no air bubbles and then that'll last ages so yeah I cut the white uh, the whisper white a little bit smaller I just wanted to see the border behind so let's get our stamps out they're all here so we're going to do some stamping in black and then we're also going to do some stamping in uh, calypso coral as well so let me stamp my happy birthday first that's going on the inside of the card and I chose the ink to match the colour of the DSP so as you can tell let's just pop that in I love photopolymer because you can see right through them and it's a lovely little stamp set perfect look at that L wonderful and if you're quick you can get this off without it staining much but I do have my other block here, the cleaning pad. Just give it a couple of taps. And I would, if you've got really sensitive skin, I would check. I do a, I would do a little tester because one of my friends has uh, not changed nothing in a craft room or a laundry detergent. She's got eczema, bless her. 
and she must have dipped her finger on the side of this and not washed it off properly and it started to peel the skin off it so please do a test so let's just pop that away for two minutes I always do a little uh, blotch test with things like that because you can if you do get a, re a reaction to them you can send them back to whoever you bought them off and they'll have to uh, reimburse so let's get this so I'm just popping in a couple of little balloons just like that perfect again clean my things as I go along let's, I'm going to use that again in a second but I just want a little bit of space for my balloons and then whoops I don't want to touch so because it is photopolymer you can see right over to more or less get them in the perfect position that's better look yay again wipe it off quickly I'm only using it on the black uh, on the pink stuff because I don't think it needs it on the black because you can get that off quick enough sometimes it'll stain if so just use your cleansing pad nice and clean yeah so I'd do a little patch test with that if I were you so that's the inside of our card done just gonna give that another quick burnish and we can pop away that ink yeah that's closed and now we can stamp. Oh, I think I might have the yay, you know, in the... Uh, yeah, I think I will. Instead of having it all in black, I will have the yay across the top. In the... Yay! And you don't need it on the red rubber because it doesn't stain the red rubber. Just get it off. Perfect. So now we're done with that back to one side now we can fetch the black back in and they just all look like they're having at a party and the cake has just arrived I think it's mega cute so that's that one and then there's just our ladies to stamp now I love their little shoes and everything, so cute. So she's coming in with the cake. The stamp's beautiful. It comes up a dream. And then just this last one now. I know it's hanging over the head hedge, the edge a bit. Hedge, hedge, hedge. So and it's getting all over my fingers. So I'm going to just grab my cloth and clean my fingers. Don't want to smear anything. Oh, I've got a battery at the ready. This one, it was full just a minute ago. They always look full until I start recording. And then, and ladies get popped in there. They all look like they're having fun, don't they? Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I'm going to set that to one side. Just want to give this a clean. And then I'm going to pop my ink away. Perfect. I'm just making sure my fingers are clean. That there's nothing that can come off because we don't stamp all those nice images now and then have it ruined. So I've just got a cleaning cloth here. I just it's quite bitty, my desk is, and I just want to get all those bits off. It's just a microfiber cloth that I keep in the cabinet next to me handy. So that looks like it's all nice and dry now. 
reason I kept it off as well, in case I did have a ribbon, I think I might just get a little bow maybe and add it on one of the sides. We'll have to think about that in a minute. So, let's get started. I love these pens. They're so mega cute. And I'm going to leave that there so I can see it. And I can't believe they've approached me too. They want to send me product. But it, I would have had it by now, uh, by the time you see this video. So, and then I'm doing a review on some more products they're sending me. And they'll probably send me some more then, they said. Because there was loads of stuff I liked. <laughs> she said, have a look what you want. And I was like, oh my God, don't tell me that. So I'm going to start off with the grey. And um, this is... I've, New glasses need to go on now because I've got to see up close and personal. Oh, that's better. And I, what I'll do is I'll zoom in as well so you can see what I'm colouring. And this is Cloudy Grey A151. And I just did this lady's hair in it. with these because I haven't got all 120 there's 120 colors and they're now back in stock in the UK um, what I did I let it dry and then went back and then just dotted over the shaded areas where I wanted them and I'll do that again in a minute I may change the colour of the cake as well. It's a bit too bright and yellow, that one. I want to do light yellow frosting, but... Kena picked up the wrong pen. <laughs> so with the tray, I just kept going over until I got the depth of colour I wanted. The hardest thing for me was doing their lipstick. Oh my goodness, look. Tiny, tiny, tiny little lips. <laughs> so I did that lady's trousers in the grey as well. And I'll show you how I shaded with these as well. So where you know there's going to be shadow, just keep going back over that area. And build up your colour. It just gets slightly darker every time you do it. Give her some darker highlights. I am blind as a bat. <laughs> Without. Let's give that tray one more blast. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. So what colour next? That beautiful okra. For that lady's trousers. Whoop, you're wrong end. I could use that end, but I find it with smaller images, you don't need to. I do like the sentiments in that, but it doesn't really, it's not a birthday stamp in there. So again, add highlights. Just go over. And I'll darken up as well. Oh, can you see? Again, just go over your deepening those shadow areas then. So, 
perfect. Isn't it cute? Love it. This lady is... Uh, where did I get that one from? Uh -huh. Me looking for the ends. So, I pulled out these two colours. Well, hazelnut brown and sienna brown. For the lady in the middle of her hair, she's going to have streaks. Steady hand. And I'm, there's only shadow, there's no shadowing to do on the hair, really. You just gotta make sure you fill in each strand. Like two tones of brown so she can have like highlights. I'm just going to have an earring the same colour. I'm just looking, I'm just looking. That lady's shoes are the same colour on that one, but I'm just going to give it some little brown dolly shoes. Here in the UK we call them dolly shoes. Because they're so flat. Like a little doll. away is the hardest part. So for the skin tone I used peach and apricot. So this is the peach. Show you the shading for the shadows in a minute with the it's slightly darker colour. It's just so cute, love it. could have actually kept the same pen and just go over and over and over like I've been doing with these colours. They all look like they're having so much fun, don't they? Hands everywhere. She was doing as a thumb, but perfect. And just this lady's face now. She reminds me of Connie Stewart. <laughs> Being really careful because the image is quite small, but you want to get it bob on, and it does dry a lot pale if you see. Have I missed any bits? Nope. <sighs> and then I just took this uh, apricot color, and basically, we're just gonna just go over the hairline. It just saved me going back over where the shadows would be. Yeah, I'll 
that's the same because I've got double chins all of them, doesn't it? Just the top of the trousers. Under the skirts. Tray and just around the hairline again, just under the chin there, just to darken it up a little bit. I think that's so cute. So she had a really, really pale t shirt. Where's that pale color gone? There it is. You might not be able to see it, but I went over a few times. But I wanted her to have a real pale t shirt. You might not see it on camera, but I can. I suppose this would have made a nice skin tone as well. Just keep going over. And then in a minute, we'll just darken these bits where the shadows would be. Perfect. Da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. And then a lovely pale lilac colour for a jacket. shadow now where her arms are. Perfect. Can you see those little subtle hints of shade? Lovely. I've got to really get my nose up close to the screen to see anything. <laughs> oh, these new glasses. They'd be great for things like this. But you know when you come to, um, oh, what's it called? Oh, my goodness, I've forgotten. I'm going to try this. Let me just give this a little test on my paper. That's better. I'm just going to do that lady's hair in this colour. Paler yellow, just to show her blonde off. And then just go back over. Give us some highlights. so much so that you can't hardly see that one so what I'll do is I'll go back and grab that uh, it's like a, let me just test this colour just to give it oh there you go that'll show up the highlights I'm just following the wave and under her hair it would be dark That's better. Okay, now I am blind as a bat. <laughs> so let me add a few 
darker sections on there. That's better. Loving it. Oh, another thing, what we've got to do with the candles, just when you're taking out a colour now, just just draw the candles and then space them out. And then yeah, you're going to get a different colour set of candles. Right, what colour? She's got like that really dark denim dress on, which is called Mykonos Blue. So she's got her arm back here. It's like one of the all-in-one dresses. But with the bits sticking out like the frills and the shoulder pad. But it's all in one is the dress. Really deep colour. Matching boots. Now I've got the boots a different, slightly darker colour, I think. But it's only a card, isn't it? basically just drawing lines. So then we can add the, the depth of colour under the frill. Oh my light lady's leg. Under the arm. Just go back over again a little bit more. Perfect. Nice little bit of shadowing going on there. Love it. Love, love, love. Oh, let's grab some candles while we're here. colours then on the go. We're loving it. I might be long-winded. Sorry girls. You know me. I've got a loved colour and I love to get it right. So this is slightly darker and it's called denim blue. I'm just doing the ladies boots. Nice bit of a steady hand here. Perfect. So, anywhere else? Nope. Let's get that book back. And then we've got a... This is sapphire blue, and that, I think that's what I used on this lady's trousers. Yeah. I mean, if you're just sending it as a quirky birthday card, and um, just colour them in straight off the bat, you don't have to do all this, what I'm doing, but it's just good practice for me. It's just so therapeutic. Okay. 
again, just keep adding a bit of build up there. Just under the leg here. Perfect. Looks so cute. I can see it when I'm up close. I, it wasn't the same colour actually, it was different. I've just realised I used the other colour, but it doesn't matter. We can swap it up a bit. I'm going to get this lady now, instead of a green top, oh I don't know, I quite like the green top actually. I'm going to use, I'm going to use the turquoise this time though instead. I used the apple green on the other one. You can just have fun, you don't have to do the same colours as me or you don't have to do the same colours all the time. Whatever works, isn't it? I think green and blue go lovely together in clothes. So again, just come down the arm, put some shadow under the back. There would be some shadow here. Definitely under the arm. What I'm doing is I'm looking at the cat. That looks fabulous, absolutely fabulous. So I give her, she can have some green shoes on. Maybe we can add a couple of green candles. Perfect. And then I'm going to do the lips now. Oh my goodness, what's this? Oh. Bright red. This is called tomato red. These lovely ladies. Grab some candles. And I'm going to do the rosebuds as well. Beautiful. She's got the thinnest top lip ever. Oh, how did I do that? <laughs> I can just see one more candle there. And a little one there. And what that is she's carrying looks like a little toffee apple to me. Perfect. And she can have red shoes this time. Beautiful. Oh, I haven't done that lady's hair. So let's just give her a nice bright red earring. Oh. Don't worry about going over because you can use a white gel pen to emit those. And I'm just going to grab our, this is called sun, oh, sapphire yellow. I'm just going to dot all the candles on the top of the cake. Perfect. I wonder if that had been... A nice pale frosting for the cake instead of it being bright. Oh, I don't know, it's a little bit dark, isn't it? A little bit dark. So, what I 
it's this sunshine yellow like that's going to be too oh it's even darker <laughs> again 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 so i might do that peach actually that I did the skin tone with where is that there i'll tell you what i'm going to use the same color is used on that lady's t-shirt i'm going to use on the cake as frosting It's going to be a nice little subtle pink frosting. And because it's a cake, I'm not bothered about the shading either. I'm not bothered if I go over the leaves because the, the green is going to be darker. lovely in real life. Perfect, isn't that cute? There's nothing I can do about the top of the cake, but that is absolutely wonderful. Now for that gorgeous little pink sash, I used uh, watermelon, but I'm going to use birthday baby pink, I think it's called. Oh, bubble, bubble, bubble bath pink. Yeah, bubble path pink. Just for these beautiful sashes. And there's only two to fill in. Isn't that cute? I love it. And now some green for my leaves. And I'm just grabbing any green. I've just got this one which is cactus green. And basically I'm just dotting. Love it. I love colouring. Perfect. Now we've got to dress this lady here. This, that's all we're going to do. And her hair. I gave her jet black hair on the other card and I'm thinking that might be a bit harsh. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give her a, a silver coloured hair. Bless her soul. What made me give a jet black, I'll never know. And then I'm going to add some highlights, which I've got with the colour next door. Just to give a little bit. I can see it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, these little details. Right, her top. I think it's a bit too pink on this one. So I may change the colour of her top now. She's got green shoes. Um, let's have a look at giving her, she can have the apple green on now. I pink the wrong pen out. Oh, here comes Mr. Boyce with my cup of coffee. So that's the colour she, the other lady had on. Oh, Mr. Boyce, you're a diamond. Thank you so much. Oh, Say hello to the girls. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. See you later. Love you. Love you. Bye, baby. Oh, he's a darling, isn't he? So again, under the arm. Definitely around here. Definitely down under by the jacket is lots of shading.
beautiful absolutely beautiful we've got her jacket left to do and then we can attach it to the card i bet you're all like oh thank god for that <laughs> so i've got another green over here and it is called olive green and i'm just gonna add that just so she's got like two tones Shading under the arm. I think that's good enough. That's perfect. Perfect. There we go. Oh, I've just got finished that lady's shoes off. And I'm just going to use my black gel pen. Journaling pen, should I say? Perfect. There we have it. Oh my goodness. Do I have a bit of Wink Costella? I'm just going to douse because it's really juicy and I'm just going to do the tops of the candles. I've just spotted another bit of white space. So let's just get this really to fuchsia. Perfect. That's us finished with our colouring. It's not cute. I'm just going to zoom back out. Perfect. Swap glasses. Woof. Can't see when I look up with them. <laughs> Oh, oh, I love these pens. I love my Touch Fives as well. I love... I just love anything to do with colouring. I love it. It's so therapeutic for me. I get lost in it. Isn't that good? You get lost in something. You don't think about your pains or nothing. I just find it adorable. I love it, love it, love it. So, there we go. That is beautiful. They're so different, but it's so much the same. I think that's gorgeous. So, let's get that attached. Oh, look, the lid off my glue's been off for a while. Pull the little stopper out. <laughs> See, there's not much pulling through on that one. But you don't want to chance it on the back of your card. Hence the reason I did the other one in the block. We just want to leave a nice little border now all the way around, making sure it's pretty straight. Again, give it a swoosh, get rid of the air bubbles. That is perfect. Absolutely beautiful. And grab some little gems. I don't know how long we've been filming for, but oh, crumbs, sorry girls. So I didn't want to dot them all over the place apart from either side. And I wanted to make sure I've got my three, so I carried it on just there. Would hope if it was straight. That looks perfect. Do you want, oh, look how pretty they are. Aren't they lovely? All the nice shading, I've swapped up the colour of the clothes. I think this one is better than that one. But they're both pretty. I just love them both. But do we, sh or should we grab a ribbon? Oh, I'm grabbing my lightest grey pen. And I'm just basically adding shadow. I think that's plenty. So, what do you reckon, ladies? Did you enjoy watching me colour? I, I love it. I get, like I say, I get lost in the moment, but that's 
beautiful. You could go inside, I suppose, and add some Wink of Stella on your balloons, or you could even add some glossy accents. That would be cool. But then you'd have to leave your card open to dry. And that can take up to an hour. But let's get some Wink of Stella on my balloons. I can leave it open for a little bit. Glitter and glam. Shouldn't take long and that will dry. But that is so uber cute. Don't close. So I'm just going to stand that up on there so you can see the pattern. And I can just add on my balloons inside. It's getting terrible. Perfect. Again, I'm just going to slot a little block in there to stop it from. And you'd always clean your nib off. You can do it on paper, or you can do it in your hand, it doesn't matter. A little bit of rubbing alcohol in there, then it's done. There we have it. There's those cutesy, cutesy little cards. I hope you like it. I hope you give them a go. I really love colouring and I know you and I know you all know I do. <laughs> but there we go. I will be ripping out the names of the people. No, no, I'm not. There we go, so I'm gonna be popping all my little bits away now and I'm gonna move on to a different card. I absolutely adore it. Thank you all so much for stopping by and sticking with me. My battery's gone. <laughs> so till next time. Bye. I don't know if it's gone off yet, but <laughs> it won't let me turn it off. <laughs>